And so I, I love to kind of pivot a little bit to talk about your writing process, because to, to go off what you said, you really enjoy writing dialogue where people are arguing with one another. I've told you before that you're very good at writing like quick quips uh, and quick insults or zingers, uh, which is always uh, entertaining to, to read through. So what, what is your process as a writer? Do you, I guess, write a whole thing out and then go back and edit? Do you kind of fine tune it as you're going along? Does it just come out all at once? What, it, what is that process like for you? It's kind of a mixture of uh, writing about stuff that people, a lot of writers always say, write about what you know. It's like, okay, well, I know sarcasm and being a wise ass whatever so <laughs> all my characters are going to talk like me <laughs> and yeah. so that that's what I, I i in my rule of cycle cable if i haven't said it then my characters are not going to say it <laughs> so <laughs> and that's that's the honest truth <laughs> I, yeah so if i haven't said it then it's, it's a safe bet that the characters I write about will not say it either. But I will change up a bit too and throw in stuff that I wouldn't say, you know, just to make it interesting. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, that's, that's my writing process. I, I get a hook, as I call it, you know, for an idea. And then for, so far it's been like, once I get the general hook in my head, the dialogue just seems to come out very easily. And before I know, I'm like just typing away, typing away. And like, oh, like two days later, I have, you know, half of the script done already without too much editing. It just, that's just how I've, it, I've been so far with that. Well, I, I think this is something that I really love about you as an artist too, Robert, is that you, when you have an idea, you then commit to it and you follow through with it until yeah. you have like a finished oh, yeah. script in your hand. And then of course, once you have the, the finished script, you'll send it to a few people say like, Hey, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. But right. I really love how, cause the, there are a lot of writers out there and a lot of artists who will get an idea and then they sit on it for a while. And then, you know, we many, all that. yeah, yeah. And, I know I'm guilty of it too, where, uh, and, and then the longer you wait, the, the more difficult it is to get started. So I really- Or forget I, somebody else stole your idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, or oh, that, I or came that. up with that first. And it's like, and see, I kind of, you know, I'm glad you brought that up because it's like, look, we're all artists, we're all trying, we all want to be seen, we all want to get our stuff out there and, and all that. And it's like, okay, well, part of doing that, you have to keep going. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to waste people's time by saying, oh, I got this cool idea, and what do you think? And then never do anything about it. Yeah. Like, then why did you bring it up then? You know what I mean? Like, keep, are you dying? No, okay. Is something keeping you down that you can't do it? No. Then, and you don't have to be a millionaire either. Just, if you have an idea, just run with it. That's what we're all here for, seriously. Yeah. Just run with it. Otherwise, you may not get another opportunity. And, you know, I'm at that phase of my life now. It's like, you know, when I first told you about Eyes of the World, when I first told you about Double A, I didn't want to just waste you or anybody else's time by just talking about it and then never do anything about it. That's why it's like, oh, a year later, guess what, Patrick? We shot it. We got it done. <laughs> right. Yes. You know? Yeah, yeah.